David, I, I want you to introduce this because, you know, we, t- we talked about, and again, we don't want to go reach for stuff, but when, when something huge happens in sports, especially something good like this, we want to make sure that we talk about it. Tell everybody about this band. This is from the World, uh, yep. yeah, okay, so here we go. The World Athletics Council, which is the international governing body of sprints, hurdles, cross country, you know, things like that, announced that it will not allow transgender athletes to compete against women in female world rankings competition. So that's that's a big win there. The move, which goes into effect next week, will, will ban male to female transgender athletes who have been through male puberty. Still no word if it, counts the other way, female to male, but male to female transgender athletes uh, banned for now. Uh, World Athletics President Sebastian Coe stated, decisions are always difficult when they involve conflicting needs and rights between different groups, but we continue to take the view that we must maintain fairness for female athletes above all other considerations. Can we just all do this? This this is how easy it is. This, This is how easy it is. And this is the picture that I was laughing at the open. I can't I can't take, like, looking at that picture. Like, I just want to throw a Pokeball at that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't. Right? Like, I, I saw that in the wild. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, anyways. You know what? I'll just keep my mouth. Any, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> this is the right thing. This needs to be adopted by everybody, and this should be celebrated. It was on social media. Like, and we talk about with Senator Holly about this. Because, uh, again, it's, it's, it's a safety issue. Let's, you want that? You want that guy lifting against women? Like, let, let's let's just be real. Let's just be. You want to know why they didn't say we're trans men or females want to compete in men's sports? Because guess what? You're not gonna win. Like this, in maybe in chess or something, but in sprints, it, there's not a threat of women taking away spots from men in men's sports. That just doesn't exist. It's just sad. That's like that's like a saying a midget's gonna take Common away sense. time from the Joker, like in in the NBA. That's not how that works. Insane. It's, it's so insane. It's, it's so frustrating. World. It's just so frustrating to me to even talk about. Pull that picture back up. It's the most blatantly common sense yeah. thing to think. Like, like you really, at the end of the day, you want, I mean, your daughter's going against Grimer. <laughs> like, what do you mean? He won. What do you mean? He won fair and square. <laughs> what did you I don't know, like, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we walked in the locker room and he's eating the weights. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. I don't guys. want my daughter competing against Hulk Hogan. Like, literally. Like, I, I don't. It's just, and, and you say, oh, you laugh. Oh, you, you confuse laugh away. No, it's, it, it, it should himself. be laughed at. You brought it on yourself. You do, there's, there's an old saying. You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. But good, good on the council for doing this. I've known uh, transgender people. I've known transgender people yeah. who are involved in weightlifting. They want a separate category. Yeah. They want a transgender category. Give them a so separate even, category. You know, when we talk about 95% of the countries being held hotches by 5% of the country, even that 5%, a lot of them are saying, no, 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 this, this doesn't make sense. Well, yeah, well, well, they'll say, they'll say, then you have people who are like, oh, well, no, you're appeasing the group by giving them a division. Listen, let, let me tell you something. You, you've been outside lately. If you want to get anything done, at some point, there has to be a compromise of some sort. So by saying, here's a transgender division, because here's what will happen. You, you have a transgender division. You'll have some sports where they have enough people to compete in that division and some that don't, and they'll just take it away. All right? But by offering a place, because I believe that everybody should have access to sports. Do I agree with yeah. transgenderism? All? No, I don't. But guess what? I'm not here to hate anyone or ruin anyone's life or anything like that, but I don't want y'all to ruin women's sports. So give them their own division, let them compete. You can have trophies and medals and, and every day you want. Take all these days in the NHL, gay day, lesbian day, you know, I'm down with girls and guys day, whatever Whoa. it is, and put it and and put it in that division. Y'all can wear patches, flags, jerseys. Hell, y'all can paint y'all self and run up and down the street screaming on the day of We it. create categories for all sorts all of things. All the reasons. time. We have the Special Olympics, which yep. is an awesome endeavor. No one's going to say, you know, we shouldn't have the Paralympics or the Special Olympics because we want to see the best athletes. Well, yeah, that's the Olympics, and we want that too, but the Special Olympics and the Paralympics also serves a purpose. Yeah, this, is, this isn't that hard. So we wanted to make sure and, and give credit where credit's due. Mm-hmm. Still a long way to go in this fight, but uh, it's, it's a good step forward. It's a good Love step it. forward. Hey, YouTube, appreciate you guys checking us out. Do us a favor. If you haven't already, if you're brand new listening to us, go ahead and hit that notification bell, subscribe, hit that like button. It helps more than you can even know. 
unless you help work for YouTube, then you know exactly how it works. We appreciate you.